It could be worse if I waited it out I held all my cards thinking that I could double down I have been known just to stand up and sit back down It could be worse somehow And it could be worse than now What another lazy day it's been Sitting around, the sun is going down again Young is by far the sexiest psychologist that we have studied thus far. And the founder oh of Analyzable Psychology. Oh my god, she's so special. You Did you know that Ashley Tisdale is playing a ghost in her upcoming movie? They do a lot of analysis. I wonder what she'd come to the party dressed as. Who? You know, I bet she's one of those girls who dresses really conservative. You know, to stick it to the man on the sluttiest night of the year. Does it matter? Does what matter? Uh, uh, does, does family matter? Of course family matters. Oh, she means like Urkel? I love that little shit. Did I do that? I can't do it, but you know what I'm saying. All right. Young says that a shadow is an unconscious complex that is defined as a repressed and suppressed aspects of the conscious self. Young emphasizes. So what's your unconscious shadow, Gary? Um, I, I don't know. I don't really get out in the sun, so. And that is why you all have repressed feelings towards your mother. Okay? Get out. I guess I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. I guess so. Maybe some of the recipes in this thing. What do we got? Uh, chicken. My fat sister is next. <laughs> so I was thinking, this is a perfect opportunity for you to have a little fun not being you. What are you talking about? Halloween is the one night a year where everyone gets to pretend they're anything but themselves. Don't you want to drop the Gary act for a while? No, I'm comfortable being me. Are you serious? Yeah, I like me. You like being the guy who's seen every rerun on television but knows nothing about the world going on around him? Of course, I mean, who wants to know all that anyway? It's not me. There's gotta be something we can dress you up as. How about this? What the? I'm not a Eagles fan. Too athletic. Let's try again. You look like garbage. Try this. Hiya! No, seriously, uh, you look horrible. I'm not gonna lie, it does you figure some justice. This is pointless. I'm going to put my comfy pants on. Look! That's the great thing about this holiday. You can pretend to be someone you're not. And if you play your cards right, you're probably gonna impress someone. Who could I possibly impress? Ooh. Well, hello. How are you doing? I've been uh, thinking about you. Really? Yeah, so uh, you got any plans for tonight? Not too much. Because uh, I got this Halloween party, and I thought you might want to kind of come tonight. Maybe. Cool. What are you going as, Gare Bear? Uh, Halloween's not my cup of tang. You might want to consider getting a cheerleading costume, because you've clearly got some spirit. Me. Really? Why not? I don't know, I'm not a five-year-old that likes to play dress-up. Hey, can somebody zip me up? Well, maybe I'll see you tonight. In a costume. I like her. Klondike bar. Uh. Huh? Oh, I almost didn't recognize you in uh, this costume. That's the point of a costume. Yeah, but what happened to my dream girl? I mean, wouldn't she look more something like, like, like that? Hey! Oh, she puked in her hair. Awesome. 
Oh. Yeah. No, uh, her. <laughs> you should not have sexual relations with that beer brow. What? What? What'd I do? Am I wrong? No. Gary? Is that you? Nope. Tonight I'm Eeyore. Uh -huh. You didn't even have to buy a house and do that. Very cute. Eeyore? Duh. Obviously I'm Hillary Clinton. It came with a penis, but I decided not to bring it. Just get me a beer. Can you believe that guy? Unbelievable. What's with you? You have a comment for everything today. Excuse me? I'm sorry I'm a little upset at the fact that I'm constantly pressured to wear things I'm not comfortable in. What? Sorry, I mean... I just don't think it's fair that women are objectified on Halloween. I just want to have a little fun. God, can you imagine what it's like being Ashley Tisdale? I don't care. You don't care? That's a little harsh. I mean, I care if women are objectified or, or not. Well, do you think it's right or not? Jesus, you should see the inside of her house. Can you just go away? Consider me already out the door. Somehow you managed to piss off the one person that actually liked you. No, I didn't. You did. You and that damn magazine. I was only trying to help. That's all I've ever been doing. Oh, yes, I'm good at stunt. Let me bask in all my recent accomplishments. Oh, so this whole thing's been a waste of time, huh? Maybe it has. Fine. Keep sitting here and watching TV, you fucking idiot. See where it gets you. Fine. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What a weirdo. Forget these. You know, you don't make a very good Hillary Clinton. Why's that? Because you're not a huge bitch. <laughs> I can understand why you're mad. Maybe we can have this conversation when you're not wearing blue face paint. Yeah, and hopefully I won't be such a jackass. <laughs> Coming up next, Bill Paxton stars in the new smash comedy, Gay Uncle Robot, only on TBS. Well, it started last June at a family reunion. I never would have thought I'd have a gay uncle robot, my gay uncle robot and me. It's really hard to think we'd have any relation, but now he's moving in and it's a crazy situation, my gay uncle robot and me. Hard times will come and circuits will go, cause sometimes life is on Around silly circuits. Yeah, cause gay uncle robot is coming right back.